Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to solve this equation right here or this type of equation. This is called the quadratic equation and it is very very useful. It is also an essential part when solving cubic equations or equations of a higher degree. Let's get into it. Today we're going to be using the so-called PQ formula. This is our example equation. It's 3x to the power of 2 plus 9x plus 6. In order to properly use the PQ formula, we need to get the coefficient of the x to the power of 2 to 1. So in this case, we can divide everything by 3. 3x to the power of 2 equals 1x to the power of 2, 9x divided by 3 equals 3x and 6 divided by 3 equals 2. And since the 1 here is not necessary because the x to the power of 2 already implies that there's 1 of it, the 1 disappears. And now all we have to do is insert the relevant elements into the PQ formula. The coefficient of the x here is the p and the number at the end where there's no x is the q. What is important during this step is you need to pay attention if that's a plus or a minus because if it were minus 3 you'd have to insert minus 3 here. In this case though it's plus 3 so you just insert plus 3. Let me explain. As you see, the p's turned into positive 3. As I just said, if the 3 were to be negative, it would be minus 3. Don't forget that, this is very important. Same goes for the q. The 2 in this case was positive. But however, if it were to be negative, you'd have to Calculate minus minus 2 Which equals plus so this will turn into a plus And now that all the variables are gone on this side of the equation you can just solve this The plus minus here is a speciality So let's get rid of the square root here first the 3 divided by 2 to the power of 2 minus 2 and the square root of the doll equals 0 0.5. And now the speciality of this formula is that you have the minus 3 divided by 2 and you can either add or subtract the 0 0.5 and thus you get both the spots where the graph touches the x-axis. So in the end you'll get minus 1.5 minus 0 0.5 which equals minus 2 which defines x number 1 and then you get x number 2 by adding the 0 0.5 to the minus 1.5 which equals minus 1. When you insert the function into GeoGebra you get this. As you can see there's an x spot at the minus 2 and one at the minus one part of the x-axis. The y value obviously is zero. And that's it for the video. If you like the channel and want to see more every Saturday, then feel free to subscribe. You can always change your mind and it's totally free. If you wish to give me feedback or have any suggestions for this channel, feel free to share them in the comments. See you next time.